Hello, welcome to the discussion of the 23rd problem of pre-RMO 2017, India. This is a very interesting number theory problem with a very simple and elegant solution. We start with a, an equation 7x square minus 44x plus 12 equals p days to n. Here x is an integer, p is a prime and n is a natural number. So, x could be negative or positive, n has to be positive integer and p being a prime number. The problem says that this integer, this prime and this natural number, they all satisfy this equation. We want to find the largest value of a prime such that such an equation can be built. The starting point of this problem is actually quite simple. We see a quadratic to the left hand side of the equation and we do the obvious thing that we should do. We factorize it. So, let us factorize this quadratic and the factorization is simple enough. 7x square minus 42x minus 2x plus 12 and this is 7x minus 2 times x minus 6. Now we observe that this is equal to p raised to n. So it is a power of a prime. Now we pause for a moment and think what could happen, what could essentially happen after this. Basically we have two pieces which multiply into a power of a prime. Now one thing that could happen is either of these two pieces is equal to 1. So it could so uh, I mean both cannot be 1 because then their product would be 1. If both are 1 then their product is 1 then p to the power n is 1 which would mean n is equal to 0 but that case is not allowed because we are only uh, allowing n to be a natural number so as a positive integer so n has to be at least 1. So this particular case where both are equal to 1 cannot happen. Then the second case could be this that either one of them is 1, either one of the of them is 1. Now, let us explore whether this can happen. First of all, 7x minus 2 equals to 1 cannot happen because then x is equals to 3 over 2, uh, 3 over 7, but we know that x is an integer. So, it is a contradiction. So, 7x minus 2 cannot be equal to 1. Let us check, check the next condition. Uh, if What if x minus 6 is 1? So, x minus 6 is 1. This implies x is equal to 7, which implies that 7x minus 2 is equal to 49 minus 2, which is 47. Now, this definitely works. Why? Because then we will set the prime equals to 47 and the natural number equals to 1. So, we got one solution that works. We have x equals to 7, uh, p equals 47 and n equals 1. Also, we have gotten rid of two basic possibilities. First one, when both of the factors is 1 and the second one is that when at least one of the factors is 1. Uh, the third condition that we will work on now is when none of the two factors, none of the two factors that is 7x minus 2 or x minus 6 
is 1. So what we essentially have here is 7x minus 2 is p raised to some k1. x minus 6 is equals to p raised to some k2. So 7x minus 2 times x minus 6 is equals to p raised to k1 times p raised to k2, which is p raised to k1 plus k2. So k1 plus k2 is my natural number n. Okay. So this is the final situation that could happen. Let's explore this one. So we have 7x minus 2 is equals to p raised to k1 x minus 6 equals to p raised to k2. This the second equation gives us x is equals to p raised to k2 plus 6. Now let's replace this in the first equation. So we have 7 times p raised to k2 plus 6 minus 2 equals to p raised to k1. Now this implies 7 times p raised to k2 plus 42 minus 2 is equals to p raised to k1, which finally gives us 40 equals to p raised to k1 minus 7 times p raised to k2. Now observe that the right hand size is divisible by p. So p divides RHS, which immediately gives us the fact that P also divides the left hand side. So P must divide 40. But 40 is nothing but 2 raised to 3 times 5. Now P is a prime. So this prime p is either equal to 2 or equal to 5. Now we might try some more algebraic manipulations to see whether any of these two primes actually give us a solution or not, but we really do not need to. Why? Because even if they even if either 2 or 5 or both of them works, the it they both of them are smaller than 47 the prime that we found initially and we are interested in actually the largest value of p so we don't really need to check the final two possibilities p equals to 2 and p equals to 5 uh, our answer would be simply 47 so, 47 is the largest prime for which this particular equation works. Thank you for watching.